into it what is going on everybody thank you so much for being here if you're on youtube watching this right now take just a couple seconds and scroll down hit like hit subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed um, and comment uh, on this video and let me know what you are hoping to pull from outlaws at thunder junction outlaws of thunder junction sorry uh ignore the title of this twitch stream um outlaws of thunder junction let me know what your chase card is let me know what you think is in this box right here in my very hands we did our pre-release at our apartment uh yesterday tons of fun um was the first time in a long while that i could not really build a great deck out of my pre-release kit i was really steamrolled by pretty much everybody um didn't really open any bangers or game enders just kind of had like uh tried to build low to the ground and I think that's what got me a couple of wins. I probably only won two games out of like three best of three matches. So um, fortunate that I got some cards, but um, luckily my partner opened up some really good cards that I'm going to be playing in standard in the coming weeks. Uh, this last round of qualifier events coming up in the next few weeks is standard and then we have a little bit of a pioneer window um and then maybe standard again to end the year i'm not quite sure um but a little bit of standard and then pioneer anyway i'm gonna stop rambling this is the fat pack bundle uh used to be called fat packs now they're called bundles there is actually you know what i should check yeah my uh oh it is working Okay. My just checking my zoom. Um, this is the second set now with play boosters. They're a lot more fun to open. Like I preferred set boosters um, before those got eliminated just for the fun of it. They're obviously not as good in draft or limited formats because there's so much variation. Um, but as someone who enjoys opening packs to find cool cards and get excited about things, um, play boosters are definitely fun to open. Outlaws of Thunder Junction is a little crazy because they were supposed to have an epilogue uh, set that came out shortly after Outlaws of Thunder Junction, but because the epilogue set last year did so poorly, uh, they decided to put those cards in these packs. So there's a bonus sheet. Uh, an epilogue sheet and the normal set and then there's like the list and and all that stuff that's always in in things so bundles are a really fun way to start kind of like an instant collection for a specific set each set comes out uh with a bundle and it's a great way you get like a box you get um a special promo card that's only available in bundles you get some packs to open and some lands and a die and the box that's in here can hold all your cards so that's really really good um let's open this bad boy up and see what it's like so we used to get draft boosters in here and then they invented set boosters so they put eight set boosters now that there are less playable cards quote unquote in play boosters now we're getting uh nine play boosters so we're just going to throw this to the side real quick um that doesn't look very good this is like super off center leather patch i like the idea they were going for trying to make it like a faux leather um but they just didn't get the dimensions right on the image. Um, so it's printed a little weird. There's the Thunder Junction train. The set symbol is this cool like cactus. Uh, there's a further outlook on the train. And then we've got our insert poster, which is just the front. Um, ooh, and loot on the back. That's cute. Loot is this cool little alien creature that uh, is going to save Vraska and jace apparently so you get a nice box with the bundles 
Um, just move some of this over and put my beverage down here. Quick little sip. And then inside you get some punch out. I like the design of these. They've kind of got that like fake leather pattern. I never know what to use these big punch outs for, but sometimes the counters come in handy. Uh, we've got death touch, stun, lifelink, flying. Uh, that's pretty cool. One thing I did notice in the on the back of the box, however, is that... Oh, wait, let's take a look at our die first. So our die is a cool gold shimmery. It's kind of themed after like maybe a, a pile of gold. I love the Western font. Obviously my name, uh, my namesake, my birth name being Wyatt, my online handle being Erp. Um, I'm a fan of cowboy shit. And I think a lot of people are sort of on board with it, but not like a hundred percent on board with it. And that's fine. All the power to them, but I'm a big fan. Okay. So one thing to note is there is no insert in here. Usually, let me see if I have one on hand. Usually you get like a little tiny insert like this that comes in here. Um, and there is not an insert anymore. So we noticed it the last set with uh, murders or uh, don't sue me, YouTube, um, with Karlov's at Karlov Manor that they went from full art or normal lands to full art lands, which was fantastic. Now they're changing it so that um, we're not getting this little insert, which is actually really handy. So I'm kind of bummed about that. But I noticed on the box <clears throat> that it says traditional foil and regular basic lance. So I'm a little bummed because I thought we were doing full arts for the near future. Oh, wait, maybe we are doing full arts still. Let me just open these real quick and find out. That's so strange. All right, we are. Okay. So we get one full set of full art lands, which is absolutely perfect for me. These, um, and then you get two of each of the other lands in traditional, and then you get foil versions in there. <coughs> this is amazing for me because I collect, um, full art lands or cool lands, I guess I, they don't have to be full art, but most of the cool ones are, um, and being able to just buy a bundle, which I was already going to get anyway, and collect the full set for my walls. If behind me, I've got a bunch of full art lands in posters um, or in frames. Uh, this negative art, full art design is absolutely stunning. I love these lands so much. Uh, inside here, we've got our promo and I'm assuming our foil lands. So our promo is going to be this key to the vault, which is actually a really cool card. Whenever a equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, look at that many cards from the top of your library. You may exile a non-land card from among them. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. You may cast that exiled cost card without paying its mana cost. So it is two to play and then three to equip, but you do get um, free spells. Oh, and we get foil full art lands as well. That's really cool. I was not expecting that. The foil are really nice. And then we've got foil versions of the basic. We've got our little town there, some giant tumbleweeds, center of town fountain, nice cool little bridge. That's some sort of crystal cave. There's the train going through. Oh, is the second one of them have the train? Yeah. The alt art. The second version has the train in it in all of them. So the first one's all little townscapes. The second one is little train 
shots. That's pretty cool. I like those lands. I'm happy that we've got um, foil versions as well. I tend to not put the foil versions in the frames. I think that the standard version it is a little bit nicer as far as um, sun reflection and stuff goes, but these ones are actually pretty nice in foil. So maybe we'll see. They're also rather flat for the most part. So I think just the foiling choices are, are strong on these ones. So I just like that the, the color symbol kind of pops out on the foil. I think that's really cool. Except for the swamp one. Oh, maybe the swamp one's kind of similar, but I like those quite a bit. Anyway, that's that. Move this even further. And then we've got nine play boosters. So that's a pretty great start to any collection, to any set. Um, you know, if you're just a pack cracker and you just are looking to play or collect cards for financial gain, this is probably not the best option for you. You might be more interested in buying a booster box that comes with whatever 32 packs in it. Um, but as far as starting your collection with a, you get a rare, um, you get some lands, you get a nice box if you need storage solutions, and then you get to open some packs and have some fun. We're going to open these real fast. I'm excited. The cards I'm looking for are Jace. And okay, first off, we need to figure out which order we're doing this. I think it's front to back. Um, but right now I'm, I'm keeping my eyes out for Jace. I would love to open a Jace card. I have a Vraska. I need another one for play, um, but we'll figure it out. We got Giant Beaver is our first card. That's a great sign. Love a Giant Beaver. Take the Fall. Pretty good. Take up the Shield. I'm going to move my die over a bit. Boneyard Desecrator. Ooh. Robot Hound. Wrangler of the Dam. That's a pretty good card. Aloe Alchemist, Return the Favor, Sandstorm Verge, and our rare is a Spire Bluff Canal. That's a nice grab. It's a little off cut. Spire Bluff is great. And then we've got our, um, oh God, what are these called? These are called, these are called, um, uh, Thunder Junction Breaking News. So I don't remember if all Breaking News cards or all packs have a Breaking News card in them, but uh, that's what we got so far. We got a Foil Red Rock Sentinel and a Full Art Land and Art card. Not too shabby. <clears throat> Spire Bluff Canal is a great rare in that pack. Great rare. That will go. I think I have enough for my Phoenix deck in Pioneer. I haven't decided if I'm playing Phoenix yet. I'm probably going to just because it's been very difficult and expensive to get a hold of the vampire cards that I need, but we'll figure it out. Quick draw, reach for the sky, consuming ashes, daring thunder thief, armored armadillo, spinewoods paladin, a Mirage Mesa. Cactus Folk Sure Shot. Slick Shot Lock Picker. Miriam Herd Whisper. And our rare is a Seraphic Steed. A Seraphic Steed. That's pretty cool. And then we get a Buried in the Garden for our breaking news. Our foil is a Dance of the Tumbleweeds, and then we get a Desert and an Elemental Token. That's pretty dope. Pretty dope. I do feel like I need to move some of these over a little bit. 
So no bangers quite yet, but uh, it's going pretty well. Going pretty well. Iron Fist Pulverizer is first. Dance of the Tumbleweeds. This is actually a really good card. Um, this did quite some work in our pre-release event. If you have the mana to pay for all of it, you get um, a pretty powerful elemental creature and search for a basic land or desert. Rooftop Assassin, Failed Forling, Fording, Outlaw Medic, Ambush Gigapede, Frontier Seeker, Ferocification, Lava Spur Boots, and our rare is a Riku of Many Paths. Whoa. Riku is a blue, green, red, legendary human wizard, 3-3. Three, three. Whenever you cast a modal spell, which is the, like the Dance of the Tumbleweeds, has the modal price on it. Choose up to X, where X is the number of times you chose a mode for that spell. Exile the top card of your library until the end of your next turn you may play it. Put a 1-1 counter on Riku of the many pass it gains trample until end of turn or create a 1-1 one, one blue bird creature token with flying that's pretty cool then we get oh we got a uh, mythic this is the aftermath the epilogue set hostile investigator uh, when an etb's target opponent discards a card whenever one or more players discard one or more cards investigate this only triggers once per turn and then we get a Contagion Engine from our breaking news set. We get a Slick Sequence, Basic Mountain, and a Blood Slash Plot Token. Actually, that's really cool. I think this is the first new Blood Token uh, that's come out since the Innistrad block. Pardon me. Talking and coughing. Um, that's pretty good. That was a pretty good pack, actually. All right. Pack number four. We have five left. This is four. All right. We got an art card on the back. Highway robbery. Hard bristle bandit. Vault plunderer. Silver Deputy, Trained Erinx, Patient Naturalist, Jin's, Jin of Fool's Fall, we got a Baron Bertram Greywater, an Intimidation Campaign, very good card, an Intrepid Stable Master, and our rare is a Kemble Profiteering Mayor. Whenever one or more tokens enters the battlefield under your opponent's control, for each of them, create a tap token that's a copy of it. This ability triggers only once each turn. Whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Then we've got an essence capture on the breaking news. Uh, that is a blue card, Wyatt. A desert's dew in foil, a foil forest, and a big crab. Big crab. This canyon crab actually was pretty good in my pre-release deck. I had a lot of fun. I just like playing magic with people I like. When I go to like a tournament, I'm not there to like have fun or like meet new people or talk about stuff. Like I want to win. I want to play seriously. I want to focus. I'm not, I don't know these people. Uh, in state, Aras, Arasable? Arasable Wolverine? I don't know how to say that word. Cactarantula, Cactarantula, Desert to Do, Stop Cold. Oh, that's like a weird misprint on the top there. Uh, Rodeo Pyromancers, holy cow. Sorry, I just had to. Shepherd of the Clouds. Rattleback Apothecary. Mage, Bane, Lizard, and our rare. Oh, maybe not. 
Omen Port Vigilante, and our rare. Oh! Annie Flash in the Wanted Poster Frame. Annie Flash is a 4 or 5 human rogue legendary creature with Flash. Uh, when Annie Flash, the veteran, enters the battlefield, if you cast it, return target permanent card with mana value 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. When Annie Flash becomes tapped, exile the top two cards of your library. You may play those cards this turn. Pretty cool. That is sick. And then we got a ride down, a foil stop cold, and an eroded canyon. And a food token. Sick. That's awesome. What a get. What a get. That Annie Flash is dope. I don't know if it's going to be like a stellar card in Constructed, but it's definitely a really good commander card. It's way too expensive for Constructed, I think. <clears throat> Explosive Derailment. Voracious Vermint. Nizumi Limebreaker. Seize the Secrets. Peerless Rope Master. Conduit Pylons. Plan the Heist. Surveil three. If you have no cards in hand, draw three. Interesting. Rakish Crew. This town ain't big enough. And our rare is a Roxanne Starfall Savant. Three red green for a 4-3 Cat Druid. Whenever Roxanne enters the battlefield or attacks, create a tapped colorless artifact token named Meteorite with... When Meteorite enters the battlefield, it deals two damage to any color, any target, and tap to add one mana of any color. Whenever you tap an artifact token for mana, add one mana of any type that artifact token produces. Very cool. We got a double rare, step between worlds, uh, three blue blue for a sorcery. Each player may shuffle their hand and graveyard into their library. Each player who does... Draw seven cards, exile, but step between worlds. Oh, and we got Fell the Mighty as our breaking news. And we got a third rare, a fourth rare. Annie joins up, one red, green, white for a legendary enchantment. When Annie joins up, enters the battlefield, it deals five damage to target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. If a triggered ability of a legendary creature you control triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. Damn. And then we've got a lonely Arroyo and a treasure token. Annie joins up is a big get. That is a cool card. I'm going to put that up here. Sick. Roxanne's actually pretty cool, too. I just don't. By the time you get five mana to cast Roxanne, like, how much more mana do you need? Unless you just straight up cast Roxanne on turn five. All right. Three more packs to go. Consuming Ashes. Daring Thunder Thief. Armored Armadillo. That's fun to say. Highway Robbery. Vault Plunderer. Holy cow. Gin of Fool's Fall. Deep Muck Desperado. Take for a Ride. Rambling Possum and our rare is a Slick Shot Show Off. This card is insane in the new burn deck. Um, you can do like almost 20 damage on turn three. It's pretty crazy. Um, that is a huge get. We got Terminal Agony on the breaking news. A Foil Phantom Interference, a Mountain, and an Oko Art Card. Pretty cool. That show-off is dope. I don't know if these card holders can hold more than one card. Sort of. Sort of. Second to last pack. No Jace. No Jace. We got an Annie the Flash, or Annie Flash, and then Annie joins up. We got Desert's Dew, Stop Cold, Wanted Griffin, Drover Grizzly, 
Outlaw's Fury, Patient Naturalist, Form a Posse, Scorching Shot, Shackle Slinger, oh, and our Bovine Intervention, and our Rare is an Ornery Tumblewag. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a 1-1 counter on target creature. Whenever Ornery Tumblewag attacks while saddled, double the number of 1-1 counters on target creature. Sick. We got a Skewer the Critics in our breaking news, a Foil Wanted Griffin, and a Lush Oasis. These ping lands are really good. A Food Plot Token. Last pack. Last one up. Last one up. We start with a Hard Bristle Bandit. Silver Deputy. Trained Erynx, Explosive Derailment, Voracious Varmint, Rodeo Pyromancers, Rictus Robber, oh, that's a new one, Gem Lightfoot, Sky Explorer, Betrayal at the Vault, oh, we got a Mythic, Girid Mirror of the Wilds, Red, Green, White for a 3-3 Human Shaman Legendary Creature with Haste. Non-token creatures you control have tap. Create a token that's a copy of target token you control that entered the battlefield this turn. That's a little crazy. Check that out. Then we get a... Oh! We got a list card. A special guest. Prismatic Vista. Pay one life. Sacrifice it. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle. Not tapped. We get a pest infestation in our breaking news. A foil rustler's rampage. A full art swamp. And a hard bristle bandit art card. Crazy. That last pack turned out to be pretty darn good. We got... Our first special guest, Full Art Prismatic Vista. I mean, that was pretty awesome. I think that there's lots of stuff going on in this set. I really enjoy opening um, play boosters. I think there's a lot of fun stuff to get in this set. There's a handful of cards that are really going to change up the way standard uh, looks. And because we're still going all the way back to the Innistrad block, this is the largest standard that's ever been. There's so many cards in standard right now that it is very, very, very wide pool. There's a lot of cool things you could be doing. I guess I should pull out all of the rares. How do you norm how do you take pictures? Um Yeah, so standard is the most healthy and varied it's ever been. People are trying wild things. People are doing mid-range things. Um, a Demir deck is the top of the charts right now. I'm playing Golgari. Nobody cares about... Um, nobody cares about that really oppressive 5-drop. Or 7-drop, whatever it is. What is it? Atraxa. Shieldred's really expensive. Uh, but soon we're going to rotate. I'm assuming this fall we'll rotate out Kamigawa and the Innistrad cards and maybe even um Maybe even the new Capenna stuff. 
I'm not entirely sure, but uh, we'll see. Very, very cool packs. I had a lot of fun opening those. Let's take a look at our W's. This Roxanne one is going to be cool. It's going to be interesting. I think it's very fun commander card. I don't know if you'd want to ramp that much at that speed in standard. So it might not really see the light of day there, but because there's so much variety in the cards that you get in these play boosters, look at like we opened nine packs and we got what? Like almost 20 rares and mythics. So it's pretty fun. It makes for a lot more explosive limited environments, which is hilarious because yesterday during our pre-release at home, I didn't open anything uh, that was really that crazy. I did open a contagion engine, but it was so high on the mana curve that I cut it uh, because I was trying to be as low to the ground as possible, um, which ultimately didn't work out for me, did it? Didn't work out for me, did it? That's a pretty decent bundle right there. Again, like we're looking at nine packs we opened and we got all of this. <clears throat> pretty awesome. If you're looking for a reason to buy into the If you're looking for a reason to buy into the bundle, I would suggest doing it if you're looking to start a collection of sorts. Um, if you're looking to open some packs, get the box that it comes with because that's very useful to have. Um, otherwise, I think it's, you know, all's fair. Whatever you feel like opening, you should open. Um, some of these cards are going to go straight into some commander decks, some of them are going to go straight into the options for standard. I wish the Annie Flash was a little bit more powerful. Annie Joins Up is actually not too bad. Especially if you're playing like a Legendary Matters deck. Um, but at the end of the day, it's uh, not going to make a big impact on standard. I do think there's some fun stuff in this set. I do think that there's good times to be had. I did get a lot of red, green, white cards. Like, that was a lot of fun. Anyway, that is the bundle. Saddle up for a wild ride. We did just that. Um, yeah, if you're interested in purchasing these, check out your local game store, buy local. Don't order off Amazon, don't order from direct retailers go to your local game shop support them um if you don't want variety and risk don't buy packs buy singles again support your local game store buy singles that money almost all directly goes to them and we don't want to see game stores continue to close so support them check them out i hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to dip. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. It would really help us out. Say hi in the comments. Hit up, hit the like button. Uh, that helps these videos get seen by more people. Um, and yeah, if you're hanging out for a little while, um, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be playing a lot of standard. Uh, we have a standard qualifier next weekend, so a week from now. And then we will shift into Pioneer. So I appreciate you all for being here. 
I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you see cute dogs and eat delicious food. Uh, I will see you on the next one. Be kind to one another.